some of the words of Advent are words like prepare, await, Maranatha or come Emmanuel. It is a time that is often quite busy for all of us, but it's also one that reminds us that hopefully great things are coming. As we grow in age and faith, I imagine we wait not so much for great things under the tree, but more of the great things that God can truly share with us. Things like an interior peace, deeper meaning in life, knowing we have a place in this world. Surely as much as we want God in our lives, so all the more does God want to be in our lives. So as we move along in Advent, let us not be afraid to ask, am I truly preparing to welcome God or more fully welcome God into my life? Or maybe the better question really is, do I want God in my life to the point that I will adjust my life to welcome God in a new way? I think that can be an interesting question to ask because in preparing for Christmas we are preparing for the birth of a baby into the world. Families know that a baby coming into the home changes everything. I mean let's face it, a baby is going to interrupt the routine. A baby will need care and attention. Life won't be the same with a baby around. Maybe that is why God came into the world as a baby. In a very material sense, a baby can give us so little, but on another level, a baby gives a family so much. Jesus in our life may not bring us earthly riches or power, but may bring us happiness and a peace at a level we can't otherwise imagine. So we prepare, we wait, we watch, and we pray, come Emmanuel. We are waiting for Jesus in our life as Christmas approaches. May the remaining weeks of Advent be blessed ones for you and for your loved ones. This is Father Donald and Archbishop Curley High School in Baltimore, wishing you as always the Lord's gift of peace.